Welcome back, my acolytes. I am Darth Zyle, back at you again for a Thursday evening stream. You catch me here in, of course, my ship, the Bicentennial Pigeon. As uh, we are flying through space. Setting off on adventure, but not really adventure. It's more of a day of bringing gifts to our assassinated prince. Oh, rip prince. Rip prince. Cheers, rip to the prince. Ugh. So uh, right now I'm heading to my home base of Cubio, Madroop, Madroop City, because uh, I am currently contemplating uh, bringing uh, my Imperial Clipper. Since I am doing, uh, 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 funeral gifts and stuff in honor of our great Imperial Prince who was assassinated, taken far too soon. Uh, and this is for the Empire. I, I'm kinda, I'm kinda wanting to get out of, of my ship, the, 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 the Bicentennial Pigeon, and hop into an Imperial ship myself. Zeron the Gamer, hello, Haiti, howdy ho! I gotta say, I love the thumbnail, yes. That, is uh, uh, Princess Aisling Duvall. It's her daddy that, uh, that we are honoring today. And of course I am pledged to her as well for uh, military operations because she gives the, the wonderful and fantastic prismatic shields, the strongest shields in the galaxy. What's your favorite mythical creature? Gemini, hello. Uh, my favorite mythical creatures are the Geminis. Uh, mi favorite mythical creature. Uh, man bear pig? Gotta go with a dragon. Gotta go with a dragon. Classic, and yet simple, and everyone knows it. Like, you say dragon, everyone's like, yeah, I know what that is. That's that Skyrim thing, right? At least they know. Going home. It's been a while since I've been in Cubio, I feel. I think I might have been there the last time. I streamed this, which might have been two weeks ago. I'm not sure. Uh, but still, it's been a while. There's been so much going on with the Empire all over the place that uh, for once, it's actually been a while since I've been back home. Prepare to drop out of light speed. A succubus. Fantastic. I love when I glitch through this through the station essentially right where I need to be. It's lovely. Does that make you Prime Minister of the Empire? No. No, no, it doesn't. I have a rank within the Empire. I can't remember it, off, remember it off the top of my head because there's no real reward to it. I got, 
I got given access to another system, but uh, uh I'm a marquee. I'm the marquee. Not sure if the next rank is uh what I'm what I'm really working towards, but uh yeah. I was a baron a little while ago. That was fun. Anyways, I am uh, going to change my ship around. And then we will set off and begin this journey of bringing honor to the Empire. Is the Field Marshal the equivalent of Grand Moff? Uh, no, I think, I think a Duke. I think in this game, the Duke is the equivalent. Actually, no, I think in this game, King is the equivalent to Grand Moff. No, because King would be Vader, wouldn't it? Technically. Because the King, Vader's, everybody, can, everybody answers to the Emperor and Vader, but Vader only answers to the Emperor. So technically that would make him a King. And then, then after that, it's Grand Moff's. Though nowadays Inquisitors are below Vader. But are they above everything else? Are they th are they third in rank? I'm not sure. I don't know. They used to be they used to be a group of, of force sensitives uh, for the Empire called the Emperor's Hand. That's where Luke Skywalker's wife, Mara Jade, came from. She was an Emperor's Hand. Uh but they weren't like former Jedi that survived Order sixty six or whatever. They were, they were found later and trained. Uh, to to serve the Emperor. Okay, uh, I am taking off. I don't need that because I think it's only. Hold on, before I do this, hold on, because I'm th I'm gonna t I, I'm thinking of when I when I said I want to take my clipper out. I was thinking of putting all of my pigeon stuff, putting it in on my clipper, but I'm not even really sure. We should remove the monarch and replace it with a dictatorship. It is a dictatorship. <laughs> the empire is under attack by terrorists trying to install a democracy. How dare they? Though it is weird, they keep hitting the side of the of the royal family that's actually for democracy. It's very strange. Let me let me bring up this clipper and then I'll see. Oh, I love my clipper. I love flying Imperial ships. Imperial ships are so beautiful. They are so wonderful and so lovely. Boom, look at it. Oh, it's gorgeous. Uh, Oh, it is, it is wanted, though. Hmm. No, maybe not then, because since everything's, se since this ship is wanted, anything I put in here, I'll ha then have to fucking clean it to put it back on my proper ship. Oh, man, that's not, that, okay, so that's a 6A, that's a 6A, that's a 5, so I could have brought over the frame shift drive, but it looks like it's already fully modified? No, it's only modified up to three times, so, okay. Um, oh, this thing's only got a jump range of 25. Uh, yeah, okay, I think, uh, okay, yeah, I'm gonna, oh man, I really wanted to fly this ship, but it would require a lot more 
effort. Ooh, I got size fours on here. Uh, probably should have had size sevens, but that's fine. Um, yeah, all right. Yeah, I won't. I won't fly it, even though it's beautiful. Look at look at this thing. Just look at it, though. Look at it. It's beautiful. I love this ship. What'd you do if you found a wounded succubus? Well, hopefully not fuck it. Uh, give it directions to the White House? He couldn't resist. Hmm. Oh, she's so beautiful. Tactical graphite. Oh. When we got these ugly ass colors. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really a huge fan of the, uh, the paint jobs for this. Star Wars universe, my favorite admiral, Thrawn. Well, no, he was a Grand Admiral. Uh, Akbar. Yeah, all right. I can't. F I can't fly you. But you. You're too nice, but uh, you're also. You're also wanted. My god, I'm halfway done with my coffee milk already. That's right, I'm not having coffee. It's too late in the day for a coffee. Every time I do one of these streams and I have coffee, I just can't go to sleep by the time I'm done. All right, so we have places to go. Uh, and step number one is we gotta go here. Yeah. Because we are going to pick it up. And then we're gonna see where we go from there. All power to engines. Be ready for liftoff. Three, two, one. Retracted. Landing coupler disengaged. You are clear for departure. Pulling out the slot now. Maintaining speed. Flight assist off. Flight assist off. Flight assist on. Boost! Who would win in a battle, Admiral Trench or Grand Admiral Thrawn? Well, if this was old Thrawn, Thrawn would just destroy literally anybody. So Thrawn all the way. Nowadays, I don't know, he didn't even last a couple of... A couple of, uh... A couple episodes, so... Uh, I just... I just remembered that I'm playing in closed. I should be playing in open. Sorry. I logged in and, uh, into closed, so that way I 
wouldn't encounter any problems while I was trying to get things all set up for the stream, and then I just forgot because I didn't actually turn off the game and restart it and everything. Because, uh, you know, I want to be able to give pirates a chance to fuck me. Why is there a Skyrim UI for a space game? That's just my UI. <laughs> and considering this is primarily a Bethesda channel, it fits. Also, it's, uh, uh, really hard to change the look of the UI nowadays because Streamlabs charges you money if you want to fucking do that. And uh, this theme is grandfathered in since they put the change. So, yeah. Did I hear Microsoft bought Bethesda and Xanamax? Yes, and now Bethesda and, and uh, Obsidian work for the same people. All right, so we are heading to uh, Auto Automa Station, the destination for today's event. Uh, I don't have to start here, but I am choosing to do so. Uh, We're gonna pick up our quest from here, and then I have already plotted courses or what it is that we need to do for this event. And it is very busy here. Uh, I'm also gonna log out and log back in into open. <laughs> Imperial Star Destroyers? They're not Star Destroyers, but whatever. Very fine. In through the slot. Textbook landing. Alright. We're gonna log out and log back in. Into open. So that way we can get uh, ganked and shit. Actually, maybe I should do a run enclosed first. Just because I don't know exactly which stations I need to go to to pick up the things. And that time trying to figure it out would only increase the chances that I get fucked. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> I'll figure out where it is exactly we are going first and then uh, after the first initial loop uh, 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 once we pick up what, what it is that we have uh, then I will log out and back in into open play where all the, the pirates and the griefers are Come on, black screen, what are you doing? Did you, did you crash? I've never known this game to crash before. I'm gonna go ahead and assume you've crashed. And just uh, force you to close. Because that's bizarre.
Could you imagine if Beth EA bought Bethesda? Oh, God. Uh, ESO and, uh, ESO. Just Elder Scrolls and Fallout would just become Assassin's Creed. Garbage. They'd look really good. That's, that's kind of like the only real hope I have in uh, Microsoft owning Bethesda and the Elder Scrolls in Fallout uh, is the fact that uh, now with such a huge company behind them and with such a huge price that it was purchased for, uh, they might really be able to push the limits and make it some of the, the prettiest and possibly the some of the biggest worlds ever. But then again, maybe not. Like, I would say we would start seeing that after Elder Scrolls 6, if it was ever going to happen, because uh, Starfield, they've already, they, they, Todd already let it, let it be known that Starfield and Elder Scrolls 6, it's the same, they are both running on the same engine, which is a super revamped engine that ran Fallout 4 in Skyrim. <laughs> So it's still, it's still the creation engine. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. They, they might, they might be able to have gotten pumped so much energy into that they might, you know, super, super expand those engines to be even bigger. What am I doing? I am continuing, going into solo play. Boom! Fantastic. What's this? Oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta just, just get, just get my fucking pay, <laughs> just so that way that stops popping up because it's annoying. Uh, yeah. have I gotten? Oh, yeah, I got some. That. Incoming message. Thank you. Uh, already contact, power contract, contact. Pay me my thousand credit weekly salary. What was this? The White Templars. Yeah, the White Templars like me more. Hooray. Okay. So. We. Go to community goals. Another community goal. Actually, I should change the name of that to community goal and not community challenge. Because it's not a community challenge. It's a community goal. Let's change the name of the stream. G O A L goal. Save. There we go. Uh, Harold Duvall Memorial Ceremony. Yes, the Imperial Palace will host a memorial ceremony to host Harrow Duvall, for which rare commodities have been requested before Thursday, the 1st of October. That's actually the date that this event ends. Uh, fire opals, caviar, La Lavian brandy, and Kamitra cigars should be delivered to here, uh, where the White Templars will transport them to capital after secure so after security vetting sorry my conspiracy my conspiracy way of thinking they're going to transport them to capital after security vetting Okay, commanders of the pilot, blah, 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 uh, will be assigned an ACNAR sy system permit alongside financial rewards to further encourage in, uh, participation 
Gutmeier Corporation will apply a discount of up to 25% for all ship purchases. 25% plus the 15% that I already received from Jameson Station? Memor Jameson Memorial? That's a cheap ass cutter. Am I using a controller? I am using a Hotas. I am using the X52 Pro. Stick and throttle. Uh, anyways. We're gonna sign up. Okay. Uh, if you don't know what the fuck and why I'm so suspicious, tune into the news. The news got turned back on to alert the galaxy that terrorists have attacked Imperial stations on the Duvall family <laughs> that somehow they used Thargoid derived explosives that's an alien race uh, there was an attack on the president of Earth <laughs> Starship One's destruction but he made it he survived but a bunch of people didn't uh, but it, that seems a bit like Try, try to be a little bit distracting because boom, then Prince Harold Duval, uh, father of the princess whose system is currently under attack by terrorists, he gets assassinated. Uh, and then we then we have the, the thing there. Uh, we had a little community goal to build some star points, which uh, uh, star ports, which I did. We we got. We, 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 we fucking nailed it. I made like 60 million credits off of that, which was pretty good. Uh, someone got arrested for actually uh, uh, doing that. That's pretty good. I should listen to that. Uh, the obituary for, to, for the thing. Yeah, boom. We were successful. And now we have the funeral that we are gathering supplies for and just the way they said that it's gonna all, all this stuff's gonna be delivered to the capital of the empire after he goes through security vetting it makes me feel like security vetting is not gonna be perfect and and there's gonna be some more hard times for the empire coming uh Anyway. What's going on here? Now the gankers are hacking. Please elaborate. They're teleporting. Probably bad connection. Seem to be able to one-shot everything. Build a ship with more than zero hull reinforcement. Easy. Uh, there's Howitzer. Okay. Is, uh, other name still playing? Yeah, yeah. All right, there's another player. There's another streamer right now. They're they're being a pirate. Anyway, I don't know if there's hackers going on. I might not actually want to hop into open, but either way, going to galaxy map. Now I've already looked into what it is that we need, and I have as you can see here, labeled them in order of from here, deliver, I, I spelled deliver, deliver wrong, but whatever. This is the base. Uh, this is the closest. And then that one. 
And then that one. And then that one. And then back. So we are able to make a good loop. So we're going to plot a course there. Which is three jumps, which is not bad. Three jumps ain't bad. Another good reason why uh, I should have I should have just wanted to stick with my phantom anyways. play an open if there's definitely uh, gankers that are hacking and can teleport and one-shot people, but... Fuel scooping. It would be nice if the anti-gank police squadrons that I know exist in this game would fucking, you know police the community goals. Frameshift drive charging. Yeah. Pirates is one thing. I'll deal with a pirate. Gankers I'd prefer not to have any contact with whatsoever. That's the same for all of, for any game with PvP, though, isn't it? Like, nobody wants to deal with gankers. Nobody logs into their favorite MMO and goes, Oh boy, I can't wait to get fucked by the gankers! And just annoyed and pissed on and everything! Oh boy! The pirates, at least, you know... They're nice. <laughs> The pirates won't kill you. You listen to them, and you give them what they want, they don't kill you. figure out where it is we're going. Fuel scoop disengaged. Okay, well you're all the way over here, which leads me to believe it's that. I sure hope not. Really? Uh, hold on. We gotta do a, we gotta do a little research here. We gotta do a little re research. Everyone's fleet carrier is over here, three suns down, which makes me believe that that's where we're going. Uh, na 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 Napier Point. Really dangerous. Is there a reason why? Huh? 
Well, it's one of ours. Good old Aisling. Let me just try to type that again. All right. N G A D A N D A R I. Nagandi Fire Opals. That's where we're going. Where are you found? Sold by Napier Terminal. Yeah. <sighs> okay. So it is. Here. All right. So we're gonna bookmark that, and we're gonna edit the name to be one opals. That's how you spell opals. Fire opals. There we go. Back. All right. How far away do we have to go? It's a fucking long way. Are they all like this? I hope not. No, the, the lavi and fire brandy isn't this fucking bad. It's gonna take us 40 fucking minutes to get there? I don't know if I'm gonna get, I don't know if I'm gonna do it. I don't know if I'll fucking do it then. <sighs> All right. Anyways. Galaxy map, we're gonna go back to the galaxy map and we're going to uh, delete this one. Love station. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and well, let's let's give it a bit. Maybe, maybe, maybe it'll cut down drastically once we really kick off. Right now, we're going 247 times the speed of light. I don't think so. Three people watching. Maybe I should maybe I should clickbait the title again and be like Skyrim in space again, but maybe they won't believe it. It's fallout in space now Ah, oh, fucking 500 light seconds You know what? We're not doing this. We're not. Do we're not. Do we're not doing that. We'll plot a route. Next up, let's go. Next, next in the system, we'll get some fucking lobby and blood brandy. How about that? Frameshift drive charging. How many jumps is that gonna be? Three. No problem. Because Lavian, Brandy, I know for a fact the station is by the very first star, so that's not so bad. But that shit, fuck that. That's like saying, oh yeah, we we need you to go with the hut in orbital to pick up mugs for for the funeral. No thanks. I I am not spending an hour in space. Not for a fucking stream. Mm -mm. star yep class M I can I can scoop from an M which is good I'm half empty now Boom! Feed me! My 
my size six. A Yule scoop. I love you. 878 tons of fuel a second. Uh, prior to this, I had a size 5A, 555 tons of fuel a second. It was good, but I did sometimes have to loop the star. And when you've designed your ship to, 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 to supposedly be the fastest ship in the galaxy, you just kind of want to skim the star and move the fuck on. Fuel scooping. First Thargoid contact. Oh. Fuel scooping complete. <sighs> I love Baldur's Gate. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, this is much better. Hopefully, they've increased the limit, because usually it's like, for rare goods, you can only grab 10. So why they, uh, why I would travel, I don't know, what, a half hour? I don't even know how long that was going to take me. A half hour to get fucking comedian cigars? Look, I love the prince, but I ain't traveling a half hour to get cigars. <laughs> Pad 2-2, two, two. there it is. Landing gear deployed. Thank you, Leo. Thank you. Alright, let's see. We are going to buy 24. Okay. Oh, it's better than 10. That's good. All right. Next up, we got We got this place. Let's see what we got. When we get there, we'll be able to figure out which where we're going due to the fact of all of the fucking fleet carriers. I didn't really consider that when I when I when I first started. I was I was like, oh man, I'm never gonna know where all these rare goods are. Like I can I can I can look up the name. I can guess the name of of the system because it's it's in the name of the good. But shit! All right, all right, all right. Fucking idiots! Bad, bad flying, just parking in the in the mail slot. Jeez. trying to get me arrested. Yeah. So, hey, if the fleet carriers actually uh, serve a purpose for me now. 
they don't usually. Chat goes silent. That's all right. It's just me in space. How many jumps I got? Four. Ah, <sighs> man, I'm really tempted to put on Xyle Radio, but I'm not on the I'm not on the Twitch. I'm on the YouTube's, and the YouTube's don't like Xyle Radio. Twitch, they'll just fucking mute the, the video after I'm done. YouTube, they'll just stop me from being able to stream altogether. In the middle of streaming. Maybe after I make this initial delivery, I'll uh, I'll just I'll just hop into uh, my fighter and we'll do some we'll do some dog fights, some dog fights in space. Long hair. Ah, ah, my fingers get stuck in it now. I pull out chunks with my hair, with my fingers now. Ah. my coffee Over. man I'm already out that's what happens that's what happens when it's coffee milk and not just coffee because it's not it's not too hot that I go no it's like gulp yeah Scoping. All right, let's figure out where we're going. Scoping complete. We are going here. Fantastic. I like that. It's still at the same star. Yay. Slow down! No! Oh, 
all these fucking planets in the way. My engine keeps revving because I'm technically going too fast against the gravitational pull of all the planets that I'm passing. It's really annoying. Impact. I have an impact warning. I'm about to impact something. It's the planet. Because it's on the other side of the planet. There we go. Man, this is just not a, a straightforward run. Well, it kind of is, but uh, just passing by all those planets. There's a planet in the way for this. Like nice smooth runs, Plez. Speed it up. Break the game. Abuse the super cruise assist. Yeah, that took my shields down, but what would he do? That's why you get prismatics, so that way you can fucking bash into a space station and go in Mach 2. Ten from here. Next up. Oh, actually, I should. Uh, planetary map. Hold on. I didn't actually do this. I should bookmark that. Out of that. What did I just pick up from here? Oh well. Just do that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what it is. There we go. Delete that one. Now we go to this one. That's six jumps. That's the furthest, longest jump yet. Oh, it's caviar. Yo, well, I'm trying to get that caviar, and I hear you got that good shit. Sorry, my friend, you heard wrong. Launch.
Let's go. So yeah, that's a uh, that's six jumps. Yeah, it kind of sucks. I can't. I'm not going to be bringing them fire ovals because that would have been nice. But it's just it, it would have taken too goddamn long in order to do it. Oh, you know what I could do while I'm... Arrest made in Starship, one criminal case. Frameshift drive charging. An officer in the Federal Navy Engineering Corps has been arrested for sabotaging the presidential vessel Starship One. A statement was made by Melend Walker of the Federal Attorney's Office. Chief Technician Roar... Webster was a department head of engineering for Starship One. Testimonies from members of Mr. Webster's team claim that he ordered unauthorized adjustments to the ship's hyperdrive systems while in dry dock, shortly before its launch in May 3301 and subsequent destruction. This case is now being brought before the Federal High Court, where Mr. Webster will stand trial for mass murder and attempted treason. There has been no comment from President Zachary Hudson. But Shadow President Felicia Winters told the press, This was a truly horrific tragedy, and there must be justice for all those who lost their lives on that sad day. The Frameshift drive charging. Apparent death of many Federation leaders aboard Starship One resulted in Winters briefly becoming acting president, shortly before Hudson won a vote of no confidence. There has been much media attention regarding how this event... pivotal to both of their political careers. Obituary, Prince Harold de Val. The Imperial Herald has published an obituary of Prince Harold de Val, who was assassinated by NMLA terrorists. Born in 3230 to Emperor Hengist, Harold de Val reacted against his father's pure written lifestyle by filling his days with partying and debauchery, becoming the black sheep of the de Val family. It was probably accidental that Harold had a child with entertainer Imogen Kibberellini, but they married shortly before her narcotics-related death. His daughter, Princess Ashling Deval, has always spoken warmly of her loving father. Emperor Hengist eventually decreed that his son was drive charging. not fit for the throne. Despite being his only heir, Harold never contested this. Perhaps relieved to allow half-sister Aris Alavigny Deval to take his place. In recent years, Harold became a recluse on camp. But oh, suffering ill health from a lifetime of excesses. But a father's protective instinct motivated him to travel to Ashling's home system after it was attacked. Tragically, despite always renouncing power, Lord and Deval made him a target to those same Republican terrorists. As the Empire wants Prince Harold, suspicions arise that the NMLA were in system scale complete. Fuel scooping knowledge complete. of his ship's itinerary and security, throwing an uneasy shadow over the legacy of this eccentric, endearing man. State funeral held for Prince Harold Deval, Pilots Federation. For the attention of all commanders. Rare commodities required by the Empire in the bull system. The Frameshift drive charging. State funeral of Prince Harold Deval has begun on capital. An official week of mourning has been declared throughout the Empire. Emperor Arisa Lavigny Deval opened the ceremony, delivering a eulogy for her half-brother. Prince Harold 
Princess Ashling Devar, Harold's daughter, was also in attendance but was too emotional to address the huge crowds. Oh, my princess. Messages of condolence from across the galaxy were on holographic display, including from Alliance Prime Minister Redmond Mahone and Federal President Zachary Hudson. Even Hadrian Devar, the exile fuel scooping leader of Nova Imperium, paid respects to his late uncle. The body of the prince, contained within a jewel transparent cast, fuel scooping complete. Was paraded through the city by a company of Imperial Guard. Frameshift drive charging. It will remain in state for two weeks prior to internment in the Hall of Martyrs. The Imperial Palace will host a memorial ceremony to honor Harold Deval, for which rare commodities have been requested before Thursday 1st. Three, two, one, October. Ngadandri Fire Opals, Esuseku Caviar. Lavian Brandy and Camitra cigars should be delivered to Otama Station in the Bull System, where the White Templars will transport them to capital after security vetting. Commanders of the Pilots Federation will be assigned an Agonar System permit alongside Fuel scooping. and financial rewards. To further encourage participation, Gutemeyer Corporation Fuel scooping complete. will apply a discount of up to 25% for all ship purchases according to the amount of rare items provided. Arrest made in Starship One criminal case. An officer in the Federal Navy Engineering Corps has been arrested for sabotaging the presidential vessel Starship One. A statement was made by Melend Walker at the Federal Attorney's Office. Chief Technician Rory Webster was a department head of engineering for Starship One. Testament. Can we just hear this one already? Mr. Webster's team claim that. Yeah, we did. Obituary. Prince Harold Deval. The Imperial Herald has published an obituary of Prince Harold Deval, who was... Alright, hopefully we can get, like, a shit ton here, because I have so much cargo space. I am very glad that I, uh, you know, thought ahead and went, you know what? I'm not going to bring my T9 with me, or any of my typical haulers. I'll use, I'll, I'll use my regular ship, built for speed. And distance. Landing gear deployed. Landing gear deployed. Fantastic. Now. Landing complete. Dispatching ground crew. <sighs> Only fifteen. All right. Well, man, that's kind of sucks. I filled up 49% of my hull. I filled up, what's my inventory? 49 out of 76, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Uh, we are gonna mission board. No, we're not, we're not doing that. We're getting out of here. I have the stuff. Oh, I did say. Options, exit. We're going to exit to main menu now. Yes. And uh, we are going to, and you say continue and uh, go into open. Yes. And, uh, maybe, uh, get pirated. You never know. Okay. Thank 
Ship released. You are cleared to leave. Shift drive charging. You are clear of the station. Flight control signing off. Roger that. Three, two, one. I didn't actually see how many jumps I had in me, but okay. It shouldn't be that long. As far as I know, this is the closest one. It's fucking Kevin Land. Ugh. Fuel scooping. Ugh, fucking Kevin Land. Fucking Kevin Land. Kevin does not does not deserve his own fucking Fuel land. Scooping. Kevin is a dickhead. Frame shift drive charging. I lost two viewers due to my hatred for Kevin Land. <laughs> ah, that's funny. wasn't too bad at all. Yeah. Next jump, we're already there. Frame shift drive charging. Maybe we can get there without too much trouble. Maybe we'll be interdicted. Maybe not. Maybe I will uh, take a hard left. I'm really nervous. <laughs> Yeah, they're to the sides of me. They're not a they're not behind me. They're in front of me and to the sides of me. There's one behind me now. Oh, integrity compromised. Ooh, that was bad. That's alright, because now.
Ottoman station is right there. Just wait for my FSD to cool down. And it'll be fine. That hurt my ship a little. Took 1% off my off the integrity of my ship. But uh, we're okay. Me and my dead chat. There you go, with the ship directly behind me. Redneck Outlaw, hey! With the planet right behind me, it should be pretty hard for pirates to get back there. Behind me. To, uh, you know. Interdict me. So maybe it's a good, uh, maybe it's a good, maybe it's a good strategy. Maybe it's a good anti-pirate ganker strategy to crash into the planet. So that way they can't uh, get behind you. Boom! Oh god, oh they're firing, okay. <laughs> this <laughs> is a fire fight! Oh the station the station is shooting people. Oh shit! The station is shooting people! <laughs> Look at how many people are here! Get in there! That was a horrible job! Parking! Drifted into it! Attention, Commander. Decrease speed at once. Yep, I'm doing it, because, uh, with all this chaos, they might try to ram me and give me a bounty. Okay, where am I going? Docking Bay 30. Landing gear deployed. Landing pad 30, rather. Yeah, so hey, Redneck Outlaw, how you doing? Thanks for stopping by. It's a bit nutty out there. This looks like a fun game. It is. It's a super fun game. I'm playing online. Uh, so, uh, gankers and pirates galore are going on right now. On the upside, <coughs> I can now drop off this shit. Oh yeah, hey, I made a hundred thousand profit on that. I made a hundred twenty-five thousand profit on that. And about 500,000 profit on that. So that uh, is uh, 700,000, about 700, seven, seven, about three quarters of a mil. Well, it's not, it's not, it's not as good as the last community goal that I had, but uh, It is, it is a community goal. How'd I do that time? But Oh, I'm in the top 50. Okay. Wow. One trip out, one trip back. I'm in the top 50%. Okay. I was expecting I was expecting to be like ranked E 
but no, I guess I guess possibly because it's all rare goods. Not many people want to actually do it, but yeah, I actually had a route going. Man, I'm already half. <laughs> I'm as good as I'm as good as anybody else, really. I got all concerned, like I didn't actually do the damn job. Need fleet carrier. Fleet carrier carriers. Do not hug the Thargoids, they are mean. Wait, are we under attack by Thargoids right now? Which one play people played CQC? Okay, well, I gotta go out and have a look at what fucking <laughs> what's happening here because <laughs> there was so many people out there before It was insane I'm just here trying to deliver gifts for my fallen prince and there's a full-on World War 4 going on out there That's right four because World War 3 already happened Landing restraints retracted. You are reminded to observe safe speed when traversing the docking bay What is happening? Night vision. Holy shit. What is happening? <laughs> it wasn't like this when we left. There's so many police! So many police. Shut up! <laughs> Flight assist off. Flight assist on. And they're destroying the Imperial Navy! What the? <laughs> Target destroyed. Why? Why is the station? Attacking the Imperial Navy. I am so confused. Offline. You are clear to resume predetermined flight path. Imperial Flight Operations Bureau wish you a safe onward journey.
I am so confused as to what's happening here. All right, um. Yeah, there's another Imperial Navy, but you're not green. Yeah, it's fucking bizarre. <laughs> Nivaru, hey! Where you came just in time. Uh we are We are witnessing an Imperial Civil War. <laughs> the imp this imp this Imperial space station is firing upon Imperial Vet Navy ships. <laughs> and a melee. Uh, ma yeah, maybe it's maybe I don't know. Maybe this is something Frontier's doing. The fucking. Maybe maybe the terrorists have are have taken over a bunch of the ships or the station. Uh what's the space funeral thing? Uh uh a prince in the royal bloodline of the Empire has been assassinated, and uh before the memorial takes place, the Empire has asked uh pirates. Pirates, pilots, <laughs> to uh, gather materials of which uh, we just we just did. We just gathered materials and brought them back here. I have no idea what's going on. It's nuts. Not many players. It is it is definitely NPC versus NPC. Sets up in the top 50% for deliveries. Uh, let's see if we can get more. Let's see if I can get myself into the top 10. 
That'd be cool. Flight assist off. Flight assist off. We'll make one more loop. Make one more loop and then after that we'll do dogfighting. For the Empire. Empire forever. Empire! Empire forever! Man, I, I literally was just getting back into the game because I, you know, I, I, I'll play the shit out of this game for a while and then I take a break for a while and I come back, so on and so forth. I just came back in and I was like, well, it's time for me to finally leave the Empire. I got my prismatic shields. I'm going to go join the pirate factions so that way I can get their badass seeker missiles. And what happens? The Empire gets attacked by terrorists. Assassins. More terrorists. A funeral. That looks like it's being attacked. So much shit going on. Frame shift drive charging. Frame shift drive charging. Charging George. Uh, uh, get ready. Next week, Star Wars Squadrons comes out, which is all spaceship combat. So get ready for that. And it's, I'm definitely doing it in VR. I know a lot of people don't like it, like watching VR, but I mean, it's a Star Wars game that can be VR. Of course, I'm going to play it in VR. Let's be real. I'm gonna hop into a TIE fighter and I'm gonna look around and start spooging all over the controls. I'm gonna fly that basset hound beagle thing, whatever. Two more jumps until I'm done. Skibby doo ba doo ba. Skibby da ba da ba da. Ba 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 da ba da ba da ba ba da 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 ba I'll have to go and get my uh, my courier, and I could try to I could I could try and fight Frame shift drive in my pigeon, charging. but I mean it's not it's not really my combat ship. My courier, on the other hand, is it's not a it's not really the best combat ship in the game, but I love it. I love my Imperial courier. It's fast. It's agile. It does the job. Oh, sure. Also, should I, uh, should I make my green screen transparent instead of Frame seeing the, you know, what it's like to actually be looking at me and my ship? Do you just want to see not the ship? Should I get rid of the box, essentially?
Bioscoping. Bioscoping. Bioscoping complete. I'm not hearing any comments about the box, so I guess I'll just leave them here. All right, let's see. If if it's respawned, if it has restocked, good. Then we'll continue the loop. If they haven't restocked yet, I'll just abandon the loop and uh, come back another time off stream. That's what the box is. What? What? Who? What? Am I gonna crash into the thing again? No, the ship's up. It's up there now. Yay! I thought you was in a ship. Yes. Yes, indeed. Yeah, that's the ship that I'm currently in. Uh, we do have people in here. Flight assist. Send out on landing pad four one. Flight assist. Shit. Landing gear deployed. I hate the landing pads right up to the front. They suck the worst. Landing successful. Commence system shutdown. Hmm. All right. Julio. LL Cool J. Did I not? Oh, I didn't do you. Oh, all right, hold on. Yeah, my bad. Edit that shit. Boom. That's a f Four dot space boom. Delete. There we go. Okay, now we're going up there. Plot the route. Boom. Done. Yes. Let's get going. Speeding tickets and then crashes and shit. Flight assist off. Flight assist. Frame shift drive charging. Boom! Thought she was in the ship. I am in, in the ship. 
This is my ship. I'm totally in my ship. I can just make my ship disappear. That's all. Three, two, one. That's all. Nothing weird. Jumps for fuck. Frame shift drive charging. Nine people watching. There we go. So it seems it's it, it seems like uh, we we slowly pick up pick up numbers as uh, as the as the day goes later on. I don't know. Or maybe all the elite dangerous streamers are done and people still want to watch elite and they're like I don't know who this asshole is but I guess I'll watch him. At least it's elite. I'm not subscribing though, cause fuck him. Reminds you of Eve. I wouldn't know. I never, I never really played Eve. Fuel scoping complete. I know Eve is a first person, I know that. This game is coming is getting a uh, update. Walk around, run around, jump around, shoot things. Destroys himself with self humor. Self deprecating humor. Hey, I know my place in the YouTube universe, alright? It is below literally everybody else that does the same shit as me, even though I did it first and technically do it better. I I, I know. I know where I I know my standing. Frame shift drive charging. You know, there was a time if you wanted, you know, good, immersive, survival gameplay-based Skyrim or Fallout, you came to me. Now you don't. <laughs> you go to Gopher. There was a time that if you wanted to see Skyrim or Fallout in any way, shape, or form be played, way harder or done in a weird way and exploiting fucking hard things like well I didn't know that we could do that oh I'll watch Darth Zile now you don't you watch many a true nerd I know my place I set the trends and don't grow from them I should not set like this. Uh, it's too fucking, too fucking claustrophobic to be setting on my own ankle and shit. Fuel scoping. Fuel scoping. Fuel scoping complete. We got a lot of conflict zones here. And that's a player. That makes me nervous. I don't like passing players.
Boom! No ganks for me, please. Forty-five. Where's forty-five? That's way over there. This is a composite announcement. Landing gear deployed. Security surveillance is in effect at the facility at all times. Any acts of aggression. Any acts of aggression. doesn't have as much personality as I have. <laughs> Gopher's a good is a good dude. Gopher's a super good dude. He's a, he's a fucking snippy old fuck, but, I mean, you get that way when you get to his age, but still. Don't need mission boards. Man, I forgot how cheap a Diamondback Scout is. I always think like, I want to get myself a Diamondback Scout once I make sure I have enough money. It's not even a million. Like, it's a tiny little ship and it runs fucking colder than you'd expect it to run. Like, it makes a really good smuggling vessel. Though I prefer mine, personally. I can carry a hell of a lot more. And it looks like the Millennium Falcon. Eagle, just a regular eagle. I really want a regular eagle. I want to try it out. I want to. I want to spec out my my imperial eagle, and spec out a regular eagle, and just 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 give them a go. Thank you, Nevo. Shit, I watched, didn't I? Yep, okay. Landing gear retracted. Docking coupler disengaged. Regulate your speed until free of station. I certainly will, actually. Will I have a look? Let's see. Uh, there's no players around. Alright, for now, I will just head straight ahead. That's where we're going next. It is six jumps away. Flight assist off. Flight assist off. Fallout 4. I hopped back into Fallout 4. Just, I think it was yesterday, actually. Jumped into Fallout 4 yesterday just to see what's what's what uh, for the Creation Club. See what's new. Yellow paint jobs, free. What would you do? Man, you know Skyrim Creation Clubs. When when they give away free shit, it's awesome. When Fallout 4 Creation Club gives away free shit, it's always boring ass paint jobs. <laughs> Unless you really like the color yellow. Unless you really want to look like a puddle of a puddle of piss in your power armor. Then boom! Ah, great. It's great paint job. Um, if you want to look like the special bus, by all means. Bye, Redneck. Thanks for stopping by, bruh. 
Uh, well, yeah. Anyways, so I saw I, 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 I loaded up Fallout 4 and I looked at the Creation Club and I was like, okay, hey, what's what's Justice Man James? What 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 was he doing? And I had no idea where he was, so <laughs> I deleted the save. No, I, I didn't delete the save. I didn't I didn't delete the Justice Man James save. He's fine. Uh, I did I did bring him back to the underground hideout though. I don't I can't remember what I was doing. Uh, but then I remembered what I was doing. I was doing Silver Shroud shit, and I was gonna kill Smile and Kate. Uh, so then I watched... I watched the last stream I did, and I went, Oh, yeah, right, fucking... I died, and I lost, like, a half hour's of progress. <laughs> I remember now. Shift drive charging. Maybe we'll, uh, get picked up for piracy. Get targeted by pirates. It would be, it'd be exciting. But either way, this will be the last pickup we do. Then we just gotta drop off everything that we have just picked up. And then boom, that's loop two done. And uh we'll go we'll go we'll go do some bounty hunting. Fuel scoping. System scan. And a ship I've built for it. Speaking of Fallout 4, I am doing a Never Leave Sanctuary playthrough. Yeah, I did I, I did a couple of those. <laughs> I did a couple of those, and then I, because uh, uh, I was debating, I was like, man, I should make a fucking, I should make a, maybe, maybe I should do like a stream or a video of this, but then I just, then I determined, nah, nobody wants to fucking watch that. Then many a true nerd fucking does it, and it's a very popular video, and I'm like, oh, for fuck's sakes. <laughs> maybe I should just go with my fucking ideas. Frame shift drive charging. Of course, he was playing easy mode, just vanilla Fallout 4, because dude hates mods. Also, did it annoy anybody else that he doesn't know that there's gourds being grown in Sanctuary? <laughs> he went all ape shit for the melons, but completely forgot that there's gourds there too. Though I will say it's fascinating, fascinating to have learned after all this time that you can cure your human meat addiction if you're a cannibal, uh, like it's any other drug <laughs> that you're addicted to. I didn't know that. I remember fucking playing Frost going cannibal just for that very reason. Like, well, whatever, there's people all the time that I can eat. And then, of course, I kind of started running low on people, and it's like, oh, shit. I need actual food, but if actual food won't do anything, I could have just, I could have just cured myself. I didn't know that. But now I do. So maybe in future, I will play more cannibal people. Maybe do it, uh, may, may, maybe due to the fact that I now know this fact, maybe Justice Man James will go cannibal. <laughs> now I want to see your take on a Never Leave Sanctuary. <laughs> My take on a Never Leave Sanctuary would definitely include uh having to survive uh like he he he, he really screwed up you he could have easily set up 
uh, a farm Feels good. <coughs> with uh, raiders. He could have set up a raider farm. Feels and also, mine, so mine would definitely have that, the raider trap, because all they want is jet. Jet, you can make infinite of if you have a cow, which he had a cow. Uh, crazy old man with a double barrel blasting people from the porch. Bam. Uh, what am I saying? What am I doing? What am I talking about? Oh, yeah. Mine would definitely have uh, uh, true storms, though, just so that way we have, like, zombie invasion. Shit. Just so that way we have a zombie invasion during uh, rad storms. Because, again, the reason why... The reason why I didn't do it the first time before many a true nerd did is because I thought it would just be boring, but apparently people like it, so... If I put my fucking personal touches with the mods, it'll make it actually exciting to watch. Though I don't know why he went with wooden posts to spam XP when, uh... Well, there's thousands of wooden steel, so... Yeah, okay. I was gonna say placemats. Floor mats work just as well, but, yeah. Shields, really? This is a flight regulation. Uh. Bam. All right. Last items. Cigars. And uh, just because I'm going to sell this. Boom. What are we doing? You can tell what I what I really like to do in this game just by looking at my ranks. I'm okay at combat. I fucking love hauling shit. <laughs> and I like to look at things from now and now and then. When I'm not hauling shit, I do like to look at things. And when I'm not looking at things, I like to shoot people every now and then. Anyways. Do 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 Alright, stage five. That is three jumps. <laughs> ah, man, I'm out of milk. Landing gear retracted. Ship detach complete. Departure authorized. Ooh, a fucking pink, pink python over there. Never leave sanctuary is very slow until the point where you reach level 16. Shift drive uh. You have left a no fire zone. Flight control signing off. 
see the one problem that he that I had with uh, nerds fucking uh, uh, sanctuary run was that he did do exploits but people consider exploits exploitative differently than other people so you know Oh, we're fucking back to Kevin land. Ah! Um, so he doesn't really consider spamming that shit for XP uh, an exploit. He definitely, he definitely did. It definitely is though. But <laughs> it is, it is an inbuilt, it is an in-game built mechanic. Fuck me. And I am out of here. You can't catch me. Frame shift drive charging. Bye. Did you get the chance to check out Rebel Galaxy Outlaw? I did. I had a look at it. And I'm not fully convinced by it. I appreciated the, the, the heads up. But man. Fuel scooping. We have entered Kevin land. Now we're going to balls. Fuel scooping complete. What the f hold on. Oh. Oh. Just orbiting each other very tightly. Frameshift drive charge. Varden fellow. Hello, Varden fellow. Alright, so we're we're hopping into our main destination to drop off this stuff. Illicit cargo. I have illicit cargo? Shit. I didn't know that. Why do I have a list of cargo? They want me here. They're asking for this shit. Anyways. Hopefully we don't get interdicted by pirates. If we do, hopefully they're not like, I want all of your shit. Because that would be pretty shit. To tell you the truth. So uh, just like before, I'm gonna, well, it doesn't look too bad, actually. Doesn't look like there's any players around. I might be going too fast. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, yeah, I was too fast. Who the, who died? Uh, Prince Deval. Good guy. Daddy of, of, uh, of, of, of the love of my life. Ashling, Ashling Deval. All right, let's see if the station is still at war with itself.
Uh, and we have an issue. Okay. Close the task. <laughs> What's the goal then? Um, they are holding a, mo a memorial for the, well, the prince who was assassinated. Uh, and we are gathering supplies for the memorial. So the, the highest end jewelry, the highest end brandy, the highest end caviar, and the highest end of cigars. Only the best for the Empire. I have a feeling after this is done, though, the story is going to be some of this shit was poisoned and uh, more members of the royal family are killed. Because that's kind of how it looks. Man, I only earned 13 points that last one. Okay. So we're, we're encountering a lot of problems playing in open. So as much as that sucks, we're going we're gonna to play in closed. Uh, we've made it here anyways without being interdicted or pirated, so that seems fine to me. Where are we? Thank hey, fuck, I'm not down there. Oh no, I'm all the way back here? You're kidding me. No. No. That's not what I want at all. It's going to take me a year to get there. What do I think of this anime? Uh, I'm excited, but eh, whatever. I don't, I don't think anything bad is going to come from this. But the likely that anything good would also come from it? I don't know. Yeah. I don't think we will see... We will see more sooner. That's definitely a strong possibility that's really the only there's two things that i think of when i think about this situation is that they're gonna want their money back and quick so that means bethesda's two biggest money makers fallout elder scrolls more often better do it Which uh, I'm okay with. Like I'm, 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 I'm honestly not bothered by uh, there not being an Elder Scrolls or Fallout every single year. I don't want that. But at the same time, I'm happy that there's a possibility that we won't get an Elder Scrolls or Fallout every ten years. Jet. <laughs> I saw that too late. Oh, I should turn on fucking. Oh, there we go. Flight assist off. Flight assist off. Might we finally get a true Fallout 3 and New Vegas remasters? Microsoft can make some quick. Maybe, but. I don't know. See, I I like Bethesda's Fallout games. I just want them to be more RPG-ish 
in terms of dialogue options and uh, quest quest options and, and how we will accomplish the quests. That's all I want. Everything else, I'm actually fine with how Bethesda does it. I want their world because their worlds are fantastic. I just want the dialogue and 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 and, and, and mission objectives to be better. <coughs> What am I doing? I'm dropping this off. We're done. Drop off the caviar. Drop off the cigars. Drop off the finest brandy. Incoming message. And there we have it. And now the White Templars are huge fans of us. All right, and like I said, we are now done with that. Let me just check on the uh, our status of this. We're still in the, the top fifty percent of players haven't done this. How how is the uh... man? We haven't even reached tier one, but to be fair, it did just start today. So. Yeah, we, we haven't even reached tier one yet. Hopefully we reach tier five and Gudemeyer ships are cheap as fuck from here on out. They totally get the world's right. They do. Like, and I... Uh, Fallout New Vegas is a really great game, and I had a lot of fun playing it with Justice Man James late, uh, recently. Um, but you know what the problem with New Vegas is? It's New Vegas. It's the Mojave. It's all just... boring. Boring, boring, boring. <laughs> You know where every single thing is that's going to spawn other than that one death claw that might show up in good springs because of a bug but that's it you know where everything is you know what it's gonna be and you know how it's gonna be how difficult it's gonna be that's that makes it a little boring and while it's nice that there are level things in the world, so that way it's like, oh, I'm going to come back later. That's cool. I don't know. I, I, I kind of prefer it to be leveled. So that way, no matter where I go, it continues to be hard. You know? And it's not like Bethesda doesn't do unleveled shit. Fucking hell. Break, go log into Fallout 4 in your highest level character and go back to Conquered. Those guys are still level two. <laughs> yeah. That whole area is, 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 is weak as shit. Because I think the way it works is when the initial enemies spawn that's what they are so when you leave and you come back there's still that original level they were when you left and came back so you know maybe there's someone in there with a fucking fat man or a missile launcher or a minigun and for some reason you just cannot get past them and you leave and come back when you have better power armor and better weapons haha now it's actually easier not just because of your gear but now you've actually at leveled them so it does reward you in that way Bethesda. So well done. Well done, Todd. I like that system. That's good. If only you. If only that was the system that it was in uh, 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 for Oblivion. Because Oblivion, Oblivion just doesn't give a fuck. It's like, nope, nope. I, I see you're level 25. We're 27. Oh, I'll come back when I'm 27. Ah, that's fine. We're 34 now. Fuck.
We're gonna go get my fighter. We're gonna do some. We're gonna do some bounty hunting. Nope, not from Cubia though. How many jumps do I got? Four. All right, cool. We'll be there in uh, four minutes. Because it takes roughly a minute to jump. Also, it's five minute break time, which is perfect because I really need some more coffee milk. What the fuck is coffee milk? Landing customers engaged. You are reminded to observe safe speeds when traversing the docking bay. Frame shift drive charging. Speed restrictions lifted. Thank you, Commander. <laughs> as, I, as I pull out of the parking lot at Mark Three. <laughs> Let's go take our five minute break. See you back here in five minutes.
Oh, yeah. Shift drive charging. shift drive charging. Ch -ch 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 charging. Charging. A motherfucker charging. What? What? Charging. Three, two, one. Fuck off. We've gone to plaid. Fuel scoping. Skibby doo, a skibby doo, Scooby Doo's, a Scooby Doo's. Jameson Memorial. Rip in peace, Jameson. I salute you, sir. You are a hero. You ain't got nothing on fucking Prince Duvall and everything. I mean, but no one does. Let's go. Let's get it. Go in. Get our ship. Do some bounty hunting. Maybe assassinations. Who knows? You never know. When the greatest pilot in the galaxy comes around, what are we gonna do? Come here, you. I gotta murder you. Yeah, you better go all the way over by the window. Yeah, you know, you know better. Thank you. Roger that. Access authorized. Cleared for landing on pad 3-3. Three, 3-3. Three. That is right over here. I'm coming for your poopies. Ship is on the ground. Grind ship is on the ground. The ship is on the ground. Get fucking ready, cause the ship's on the ground. We're gonna change it over to the fucking courier. Do 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 ba do ba do ba do. Let me just uh run through outfit and then make sure. I mean, it should still be built for combat, but. Uh, well, I can already tell I got the kill co kill warrant. Definitely got to still have the interdictor on here. Four hundred seventeen thousand. What did I start today with? Must be less than that. Yeah, it must have been. 
I don't know how much money I've made today. Outfit in. Mm-hmm, you're a pretty girl. Yep. 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 I'm gonna do that one. Nunette's blue crew and Nunette's. Well, you know what? That's also Nunette's. That's Nunette's. That's 25 pirates. I ain't got time for that shit. That's an illegal job. Well, I'm usually okay with the illegal jobs. I don't like to... I, I don't like to mix max, mix, m m mishmash, mix match my fucking uh, legal jobs with my illegal jobs. It gets confusing as to what I'm doing, what, where. <laughs> Boom. Okay, we're going in here. Let's get dangerous. Fucking go! You have left the no fire zone. This is traffic operations signing off. Clear for jump. Going in this direction, yeah. Oh, and that's a mission. Hold on. Yeah. If I can get closer to him, I can interdict his ass. Possibly this guy, too. There's one. Sidewinder. Not one of my targets, though. Yeah, I don't look like I can get him. Oh, I'm catching up to him, though. I might be able to get this Mark IV.
I got him. Oh god. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm not. I'm still not used to interdicting people. On target. Stay on target. Stay on target. Oh yeah, I got him. How integrity compromised. Ah oh, man, it fucked me though for some reason. I should have really remembered, right? I'm such a dummy. Gotta remember. That they're gonna drop shit that I might need for further work on my ships. So I should really bring along a fucking. You know. Collect the limpets. Orca, yay. Nope, nope, all gone. Oh, now they're over here. Well, now the Orca's back. Orker. Orca. Skibbity boop boop, 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 skibbity boop boop. Threat three, no problem. I can deal with this. by the ass. Mission objective detected. That's a lot of ships. Scan detected. Yeah, hi. Yeah, hi there. Uh heard the last sheep turn. Uh, I'm gonna try and kill you. Yeah, okay. Okay. Let me just get up. Let me let me just get up to you.
Easy. Oh, there you are. Hold on. All right, next up, the vulture. Let's go after the vulture. He seemed weak. Okay. Let's just get my shields back first, though. You don't have any shields? Are you a fucking... Are you, are you, are you daft? Okay. You are bad guy. Now yeah, don't mind me just getting right up behind you. Nothing suspicious here. Nothing suspicious here. Don't worry. Here I come. in front of me. You can't get me from behind you. Come on. Ah, you bastard. Got your shields up. Come here. Get your shields down. Come here. I do not want to be fucking with no fertile lance, though. Well, maybe. Let me get my shields. All right, Chris Phillips, what you got? Yeah, you want it. Got a manifest scanner and everything. Mr. Pirate, fine. Do 
Where's your power? Power plant. You know, you got a power plant? How is that? How is that a thing? Oh, there it is. God, I'm an idiot. Come on, shields, because this motherfucker is totally going to start jousting me. Flight assist off, flight assist on, flight assist off, flight assist on. Thank you. Should have been opening fire at some point. Critical message. That's nuts. Flight assist off. Flight assist on. Frame shift drive charging. Four, three, two, one. Engage. Ugh. Can't wait to be doing that shit in Star Wars next week. I think it's Wednesday or Friday. Not sure. Thursday? Janak Radezra, back to Jameson Memorial <clears throat> to get my reward from the Dark Wheel. Yes, I know, it's a sun, I know. Uh, do you find an NPC or another player? Uh, those were all NPCs. Uh, though why that Fertilance was never able to fucking turn around and shoot me is beyond me. They got some of the hardest fucking pilots that I've ever flown across, flown against. And that one was just really simple. Every time I fight a Fertilance, it's always just, bam, bam. 
Bam! Bam! Fucking jousting with a with a fertilance every single time. Man, my 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 exploiting the uh, super cruise assist has been really lackluster today. I'm sorry about that. So many fucking loop of shames. shields. And say thanks, but okay. Lost Chupacabras. <laughs> there's only like four of them? Really? Oh, yeah, there's only like four. I thought there was more than that here. Oh well. Alright, what do you got for me? Nothing from the Dark Wheel, unfortunately. Maybe you've got, uh... And a planetary scan job. I'm not really all that interested in that. What do you just have? You got plenty and plenty and plenty and plenty. Pay the goods. Food cartridges for a million? Million point one point two mil? Precipitated alloys, grade f five units of that, grade grade three? What else you got? That's down to a planet. Well, I've wanted to do a little more fighting, but the money is just too good to pass up. I'm sorry, but it is. <laughs> It's all about the money. It's all about the money. Show me the money. Mine 13,000 units of water. Fuck me.
evacuation unit. But, uh, uh, I can carry 76 stuff. Yeah. Yeah, alright. Alright, yeah, give it to me. Put it, put it, put it in the ass of my ship. Thank you very much. Let's fucking do it. Well, apparently I've never been here. So that'll be nice. Something something new to discover and explore and stuff like that. Maybe there'll be something cool in this little sector of the world. Probably not. Definitely nothing that no one's ever seen before. I can guarantee somebody's been here. Maybe it'll be something that I've never seen. Maybe there's alien life here that I've never seen. But everyone else has. Flight assist off. Flight assist. Fast ship alive! It's not the fastest ship. It's pretty fast though. It's a fast ship. It's a good fast ship. to the planet. We're going to make a planet side landing, everyone. If you've never seen someone land on a planet before, you're about to swatch. It happened. There's the planet way over there. 36,000 light seconds. What does that mean? That means you're traveling at the speed of light for 36,000 seconds. However, of course, we are already moving three times, four times, five times the speed of light, six times, seven times, eight times, nine times, ten times, eleven times, twelve times. Oh, we got some fucking interdiction going on over there. Look at the dancing stars. See. Yeah, they must be wanted. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I can see why this job paid so fucking much. I didn't, I didn't realize that when I took it. I didn't realize. Let me guess. Yeah, it's at the next star over. On the moon! Ooh. 
Could be interested in canyon raising. Shame I ain't got my fighter with me. What a pity. You know, one day I'll, I'll, I'll outfit a ship for fighting the, the aliens, the Thargoids, and give that a go. Maybe, I'll, maybe, maybe that will teach me to learn, uh, teach me to fly better. Be an expensive lesson, but maybe it'll teach me to fly better. should be there momentarily relatively soon I don't know I just really want to put on some fucking tunes though some space tunes space tunes Except me, it's Pantera. Well, thank you very much. 
Pantera will be taken by ad revenue, but you just you just gave me more than one Pantera again. Okay. Sponsor in this stream. Oh my god, a dime bag. I love you. Thank you. discovered oh Vinny Vinny and Dime tried to mix this shit themselves and yeah so this shit was mixed by the guy who mixed all their other shit and it's out stuff uh 10s never really listened to 10s too often i mean i've heard every song just saying like i don't really listen to 10s too often drag the waters i listen to that shit i fucking love drag the waters let's listen let's let's get some drag the waters in here <laughs> Discography, please. Actually, who knows? Because that's the new mix, maybe it won't actually be entered into the, uh... Maybe it actually won't be entered into the copyright bot detection thing, so maybe so far we've listened to Pantera copyright free. I don't know. Anyways, let's get some fucking... Yeah, I remember that now. I love this fucking tune. Oh, 
all about that fucking guy who can get away with anything because his daddy's fucking rich. Bridget Pittman. Hey, Bridget. Drag the water some more. Happy you're streaming. Well, thank you. Thank you, Bridget. I'm happy to be streaming. I love it. Job I love for a job I hate. That fucking sucks. Solo coming. Solo. Ah, oh, it's so fucking country twang. Thank you. I'll put on the song that, uh... Oh, hold on. Am I gonna crash? I don't think so. I'm gonna skip it, though. <laughs> I'll, put on the, I'll put on the Pantera tune that made me go, Yep, this is my band now. Unfortunately, it ain't that one. It ain't that one. Hold on. Hold on. Let me just... Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, so... 
Way back when I started playing guitar, my buddy gave me a, a, a Pantera album. And I was just, I was just skipping through it because, you know, I was a hardcore fucking Nirvana geek at that point. I was like, no, nah, this is it. I'm not going to find anything that I like more than Nirvana. And it's so cool. And I love it. And then I heard this that where Dimebag made the guitar do things that I had never heard before. And that was it. the song spoke to the to, to a young teen trying to find himself and reinvent himself in high school song that just fucking blew my dick off. What are we currently doing in the game? Uh, well, we delivered gifts for the dead prince. And uh, it just takes way too long. It's not nearly interesting, so I thought I'd do some uh, fighting, but solo. stuff then I started fighting and then I found a really good m mission to make a load of money delivering shit and now I'm stuck delivering stuff again ABC tonight your favorite game shows are back and ready to play that's great I'm gonna refresh the page so I don't have to fucking hear your stupid ads ah oh, man what else man I just ah oh, man I just want to listen to just Pantera all the day all the time it's nothing but Pantera Pantera is my favorite band I fucking love Pantera I can't play many of their songs, but man, do I fucking try. Oh, wait, wait a minute. I made a, I made a B-side. Hold on. I made a playlist called Pantera B-side. Is it still here? There it is. It's like all these, all these songs of Pantera that, uh, you probably haven't heard. Like, uh, the song that was supposed to be on their first Cowboys from Hell album, but wasn't. It don't sound like Pantera at all, which is probably why it was left off.
And of course a riff from one of their later songs. Like, does that sound like Phil? Does that Phil? Does that sound like fucking Phil? That ain't Phil. But it is. That's Phil. That's the guy we just heard. I love that shit. It's good. Uh, unfortunately, Avoid the Light isn't available. Avoid the Light is, is an awesome tune. I love that tune. Feel them do Cat Scratch Fever? It's a mess up, baby, between Man of War. <laughs> Man of War and Pantera. Oh man, I I don't I don't hear Eric Young, Eric uh, Eric Ad Eric Adams. I don't I don't hear Adams. I think I'm fairly sure his name is Adams. I don't hear Adams in Phil's voice whatsoever. But I almost put on some Man of War there. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna listen to some Achilles fucking eight part fucking classical music. Nah. Yeah, this is Pantera doing Cat Scratch. How about their song Piss? Ah, oh, piss. I haven't listened to piss in a long time. Okay. We're going we're going back. We're gonna go get my my ship to do some fight in here. with an anchor by Ailstone. Ailstorm. Is that the fuck you? You're a bloody wanker. I'm gonna fuck you right in the face. Uh, stream. Oh, what happened to my stream? Did I get kicked off? Oh no, okay. I'll go back. I got I got all paranoid. I was like, oh no, did I get banned <laughs> again? Last time I got banned from streaming on YouTube it was because of uh Metal Gear. <laughs> Brian Why Yeah, hold on. Uh let me do this. Yeah, we got it we gotta do some fighting if I'm gonna keep listening to this shit. Uh, search.
fuck you, you're a fucking wanker. We're gonna punch you right in the balls. Fuck you with a fucking anchor. You're all cunts, so fuck you all. Fuck you, you're a fucking wanker. We're gonna punch you right in the balls. Fuck you with a fucking anchor. You're all cunts, so fuck you all. Go! That's a good that that that's another that is indeed a good song to uh fight to in this game. Oh man, now Pantera and
Oh, shit. All right, so OBS crashed and resetting it reset all the settings on OBS, including going to its oh, default. Shit. Uh, go into its default muted state. So, yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Anyways. Please forgives me. It just defaulted to its original state. Now, as we are in the system where uh, we're going to be uh, killing some peoples, just got to get back to the sun. <laughs> Scan the nav beacon, apparently. I assume YouTube hated your fight song. Unless YouTube somehow knows how to crash your OBSs. That's canon what happened. <laughs> the solos. Threat zero? Really? There's like 17 ships that I gotta kill. And there's zero threat? I don't believe it. I don't believe it. It's Cal the Jedi's favorite band. This is just gonna hype me up for squadrons next week. Because I am going to shoot so many things in space. I'm debating whether or not how, uh, 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 just how quickly I should hop into the PvP element of that game. Yeah. 
Ah, oh, looks like I'm gonna be creating a bunch of properly aged accounts to sell the 12 year olds so they can keep watching PewDiePie. Bother just targeting a subsystem. Oh, he launched a fighter at everything. about to ram him. hit the sheets. Uh, later, Bakora.
favorite fighter cockpit? The, cur the courier? I love the courier. I just love the courier in general. Like, I know if I hop into, like, a vulture or a third of lance, like, oh, just, I'll just destroy everything my way. I understand that. But I love the courier. <laughs> by mistake. Shit. Alright. Fuck. Well, that takes a lot of the cool out instead. Ah, oh, it's my guitar face. I gotta use my crate two of Anaconda. Ain't nothing wrong with using a crate. Anaconda. <laughs> I gotta kill a dolphin. How often do I have a chance?
Is it still fucking this? That's fine. going on with the stream but uh, since I sent it's like eight minutes in the fucking past looking at it it's ridiculous I'm still fighting I'm just gonna end the stream since we're just having so many trouble so many problems I'm just gonna end the stream it was fun thank you very much for stopping by sometime next week made the trip to Colonian about a month ago unlock the engineers there I recommend saving for a fleet carrier and do it that way it was quite a grind I did it without it <laughs> And then I, then, and then I, then I remembered the thing called the Neutron Highway. Halfway there, made it a lot easier. <laughs> and uh, then once I was there, I was like, well, I could turn back, or I could go see the center of the galaxy. So I went to the center of the galaxy from Colonia, and then I made my way back. That took me like an hour and a half. That was annoying. Uh, anyways. I'm going to end it there today. Thank you very much for stopping by. It was fun. Next week, I can't remember if it if it's this day next week. What is this? Is it Oct is it Friday? Hold on. Let me look at this. Hold on. Hold on. Let me When is Star Wars Squadrons coming out? Let's have a look. That way. Cuz whenever it comes out, that's that's when I will be back in space. choose our path light or dark uh october 2nd or destruction the empire october 2nd october 2nd so that is literally on a friday so on friday friday stream will be star wars squadrons in vr so uh tune in if you like space stuff you don't care about my bethesda stuff you only like watching my elite stuff hey you're in a very elite group because like there's only like five of you still here so <laughs> if you like if you like watching uh ship to ship combat maybe tune in for that because uh should be should be interesting hopefully good so uh yeah until next time i've been derzal you've been a fantastic audience and i will see you in the future in case gotta figure out how to turn it off there we go <laughs>